Welcome to this introduction to the Discrete Element Method, or DEM. During this short video, users will gain an introductory understanding of what DEM is, where it can be used in industry, and the kinds of problems that can be identified. Technically speaking, DEM is a finite difference numerical method for predicting the motion of individual and independently moving objects. It can be applied anywhere that a large number of objects interact and where the scientific principles that govern each particle's interaction or motion are understood, possibly including such particle-particle interactions as friction, electrostatic, magnetic, gravitational, and cohesive forces. A DEM analysis starts with a collection of particles or by creating particles in a designated region. Along with the current position and velocity of a particle, the particle's physical characteristics are used to calculate the current forces upon the particle. The forces typically include gravity, friction, and pressure from contact with other particles and physical system boundaries, but may include other effects, such as those caused by cohesion. These forces are then used to predict the particle's future location and velocity for some small time increment called a time step. For the purposes of this presentation, the apparent time step and vector lengths have been exaggerated for visual purposes. Normally, the time step is on the order of millionths of a second. Now that we have the new position and velocity, we can get back to the simulation. This process is repeated for every particle in the system for each time step. When particles collide with each other or with other parts of the system, the particles are treated like linear springs to calculate a reaction force and friction. Time steps are typically very small to prevent excessive instantaneous interference. Repeating this process for each particle and each time step results in smooth motion. In practice, DEM has been used for a variety of simulations such as rock fracture and soil mechanics, the flow of particles in bulk material handling systems, and the effects of ice blocks floating into bridges. Industrial and commercial applications include 